Every day we receive thousands of terrible VHS tapes and DVDs. Some are so fucking weird we don't exactly know what to do with them. That's why the Wheel of the Worst was designed. It's a torture device for the modern age. The wheel is spun three times. Each spin selects a video at random for the group to watch, and then evaluate which video is the best of the worst. It's now time to spin the wheel of the worst. Isn't anybody gonna come and, and, and help me spin the wheel? Hello? I, I've been here for two days. You told me two days ago, Rich, stand by the wheel, we're gonna film soon, and then I, I heard some engines starting up, some cars. Were you getting lunch? Hello? All right. What? Let's, uh, let's get started. Oh. All right, first up is a new one. Um, uh, not quite sure how to pronounce this. Or, um, the Shoujai Tabuchi. Does that have something to do with the Olympics? The Shochi Tabuchi oh, show? Oh, Sochi. Yeah. It gets a bronze medal for me. And then next we have Dunkin' Donuts 1994 Fall Donut Event finishing video with Bob Rosenberg. That sounds great. That sounds awesome. That sounds really good. Now, I know that this one is your favorite. So, uh, Florence Henderson's Looking Great, Feeling Great. I, I think if we land on this one, the little whammy's gonna come up in the bottom of the screen. No one's going to understand that reference. The, the, this, this doesn't look much better. Uh, kitten Commotion. Seven cute, cuddly kittens. They, they wrestle, romp, explore, lounge, and play. So it's, it's basically YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next up is fan favorite, SOS. Fan favorite? Yeah, this is one that we we, we always keep passing by and never oh, land on it. Oh, that's the one, right, mm -hmm. right. And everybody wants us to watch it. Well, hopefully, hopefully it'll finally land on it this time. I, I mean, hope so. It's like the fourth I, episode we've done. I know. I, and we still haven't landed on SOS. So. I know, we need to land on it this time. Okay. And then we have Tom Parks in Diabetes, A Positive Approach. So it's a very positive thing that you got diabetes, right? I hope I have diabetes now because my lifespan will be shorter and then I can die sooner. What's next on the wheel? <laughs> Tales from Genesis Space. I don't know what the fuck this is, but it looks amazing. And, and next on the wheel is my second favorite video of all time, The Art of Dining, The Business Lunch. The complete guide to dining etiquette for corporate go-getters, salespeople, professionals, executive horsewives, and anyone who entertains for business or social occasions. This guide will dramatically increase your social confidence when dining or as a host or guest. All right, who girl, let's spin this thing. All right. Let's do it again. Oh, fuck this. Hold on, hold on, wait. Let's do it. No, we can't. Let's start again. We okay, can't. Okay, let's just. No. Can we? No, we have to. Here's the... You're wasting a spin. Now it's gonna land on something good we can't watch. <laughs> Okay, shut it off. <laughs> the cease and desist order. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's a horror film. Oh no, these cats are scared. Oh, it's shot on someone's video camera. Yeah. yeah. This this looks like this doesn't look warm and cute. It looks like a like a like a serial killer's home video. <laughs> you know? It looks like a snuff film for yeah, cats. Like now, I don't know who made this, but I'm going to guess if they showed like an image of him or cut to footage of him, he would probably look like some sort of sex pervert. I just have a hunch. Well, Mike, I think you can call that video a catastrophe. You ain't kitten. You could, you could even say that that video 
was a piece of shit. What? All right, Rich, let's spin the wheel. All right. I can't wait to see what movie it lands on. Oh! oh the Dunkin' Donuts video. All right. I'm happy with that. Oh, a fucking spark went in my eye. Let me get the fire extinguisher. <laughs> it's early morning, the day is dawning, we're making donuts, come on and try them out. Look at all these donuts. So when you greet customers with a smile and a friendly inquiry, you're meeting that expectation. I just want to see Bob Rosenberg fall off a tree stand. <sighs> so when you take the time to keep Do you think Bob Rosenberg is happy? No. He doesn't look happy. He just doesn't care about the stupid video. He's happy when he goes home and he counts his executive money. He counts his donuts. He counts his donuts. And that's a great way to run a business. I want to thank you for your time. I'd also like to express my sincere appreciation. <laughs> okay. Wait, why is this graphic happening? Because he's about to be done talking. Is he? Is it going to flip away or something? I think so. Yeah. Oh, nope. now that was weird. a fade out. That was weird. He's wrapping up now, folks. That might be the whole is that, video. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> was this just like the intro for, for an actual live event? Yep. Yeah. Thanks, oh. Bob Rosenberg. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, on to our next well, video. Well, was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you blow off the fire extinguisher? It was on fire. <coughs> oh, wait, we're slowing down. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 I don't look good or feel great, so maybe Florence Henderson will help. This like uh, this is. I, I wanted to watch this. I wanted to watch this. I wanted to watch this. I did want to watch that. But that was a horrible disappointment. But still. Well, that's that's the way the wheel works, Rich. I'm so sorry. All right, let's go. <coughs> I have my moist rouge. I have powder. I have um, applicators. I have my eyelash curler. And I have got a pencil sharpener for two different size pencils. And I have got all kinds of brushes for eyeshadow, for lipstick. I have a powder puff. <laughs> I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, would you please make welcome to the stage, the incredible Shoji Tobuchi! Oh. Um, oh, this is... This is unexpected. This is unexpected. This is amazing. Um, uh, what do we do? I don't know. Did we watch it? It's landing on it. I don't know. I... Uh, I guess? That's a big crowd, though. Shoji fills up a, a, a theater. Shoji's supposed to be popular down in St. Louis, Missouri? Branson, yeah. Branson, Branson Missouri. Missouri. Something like that. But before we go any further, I've got to wait here and see where everybody's from. How about our home state of Missouri? Where's Shoji? Texas! They're, they're, they're dragging them out, Jim. They are. They know that's all anyone wants to see. Mississippi. I hope you might enjoy. It's called Why Haven't I Heard From You? I don't watch the Shoji Tabuchi show to not see Shoji Tabuchi. They're trying to get him cleaned up in the bag. <laughs> He's trying to get him sober. <laughs> yeah. They're giving him coffee and trying to wake him up. <laughs> Stall them! <laughs> Ask them where they're from! <laughs>
They should, should call this not Shoji Tabuchi yeah. show. <laughs> this whole thing is no, it's a random ladies show. It's yeah. called the No Shoji Tabuchi oh, show. Oh, see, that's good. Oh, Thank the you. No that's show. good. No show. Yeah, no, he's a no show. I get it. I get it. So, I, I, that's better than what we came up with. Oh. There it is. Oh! It's a laser film. It's a, it's a yes. 3D laser projection. It's the big moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> this better be Uh-oh, fun. I saw, this is it. This has got to be Yeah, it. this has to be him. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Choji! Ladies and gentlemen, would you please make welcome to the stage, the incredible Shoji Tabuchi! Everybody's going out and they're having fun. I'm just a fool to stay home. Oh, he's terrible! <laughs> Well, I think we can say, if nothing else, what we watched tonight was very diverse. By different kinds of cats in the cat video? I, I guess there's diversity in each individual video, but I meant the videos overall. Yeah, there's usually some kind of weird commonality with at least two, same actor, no, same No, nothing theme, here. Nothing. No, no. The first thing we watched was Kitten Commotion. Uh, and Rich, I know you love kittens. <laughs> so why don't you explain the plot? Of kitten commotion. <laughs> Why do you always go to me, Jay? Why are you always picking on me? I, what are you talking about? Oh we ask God. everybody. Um, kitten commotion. It's a video somebody made. <laughs> <laughs> and it does not contain grandma and her grandchildren watching. No, it, it also doesn't contain kittens escaping the television like it's the ring. But it is family certified. <laughs> the only thing in the video is they take these poor scared cats. Yeah. And then they put them in front of a blue backdrop. Back, back, and, then they, and then they put them in front of a blue backdrop, and they just throw some baskets on their heads. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever garbage or they, they, they throw, found in they a throw, dumpster, they, they just throw garbage at the cat. <laughs> and then the cats don't do anything cute because they're scared. Yeah. And angry. They look like they just want to leave. Yeah. Look, they, look, I, I didn't notice this. You know, when we first got this in the wheel, there's there's horrible fake quotes on the back of the box. Mm. Uh, I give it five hairballs. Huckleberry. Huckleberry's one of the cats in the video. Yeah, so Huckleberry has apparently reviewed his own video. That's very biased. And he's a cat. They can't even find fake news animals <laughs> to give them quotes. But you're awful passionate about this kitten commotion. I hate it. Are you just biased no. because you have cat allergies? Uh, you know, you know, I'm gonna tell you the honest truth, okay? Everybody knows I have hideous cat allergies. Mm. Cut to Wherever picture of me with the swollen eye. That's, there's you, several, you, there's you, you see it, you know it's yeah. coming, right? But I like cats. Mm. Cats are sweet. They 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 don't get in your face. They don't slobber all over you. They mind their own business. If I was gonna have a pet, if I weren't allergic, I would have a cat. Okay. But a cat. But your cat? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why did you just say cat? Now let's get back on track. Here. Now let's get back on track. <laughs> Is that what you said? What? I said, now let's get back on track. No, you said, now let's get back I on track. I said, now let's get back on cat. This is the perfect discussion. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there some redeeming value? Is this at least for a charity? Oh, yes. they say that in the credits. They they, the okay. proceeds of the sales of this go to some organization yeah, yeah. related like no to cats. Kill shelters I, or something. I, was, I was wondering if this is just a cynically, quickly thrown together cash grab. No. But only partially. OK. It's a cynically oh. thrown together cat grab. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! A perfect gift. Why did you stretch that out? There are three R's. Perfect. Wh why? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Shoji Tabuchi typed it with the purr, 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 purr. <laughs> I spent 11 years in Lujan and, 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 and I. Oh, my! <laughs> 
Oh, of course, ah, uh, of course, of course, ah, uh, of course. <laughs> a perfect gift for grandma, babies. Wait, what does it say? Grandma's babies, dot, 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 all ages. <laughs> <laughs> so from grandma to babies and anything they missed. Okay. In between grandmas and babies. Okay. See, when they filmed this, they actually had trouble, I think, finding cute moments. Like they were looking for like the cat playing with the ball yeah. or playing with the sock. And what they got were confused cats. And they kept like shoving them in the baskets. Yeah. And the cats keep trying to get out of the baskets to run away. Yeah, cats aren't, aren't cute when they're confused right. and want to and escape the environment they're in, yeah. like a mailbox. At some point, the cats got frustrated and started viciously fighting with each other. <laughs> and that's in the video as a cutesy moment. Yeah. Will the final chapter be cats in burlap sacks? <laughs> <laughs> Kitten commotion. Yeah. Uh, I, I vehemently objected to it being on the wheel of the worst for obvious reasons, and I was proven right by... Did you know before we watched this that cats had three eyelids? I don't give a crap. Would, would you say this is better or worse than Jingle Cats? Worse. Oh, this is much worse. Yeah. Jingle Cats is amazing. There's lots of entertainment in that. <laughs> Jingle Cats, there is a lot of work put into it. It is like a living nightmare. Yeah. It is so, it's so much fun. Yeah. Um, I could watch it over and over. That I'll never watch again. No. They can get away with selling Jingle Cats 15 years after it was made sure. because that has so much uh, amazing ahead of its time special effects. <laughs> So is there anything else to say about kitten commotion? Uh, it's possibly the worst thing I've ever seen. How many yep. things have you said that That's about now, though? Everything. Well, okay, it's not right. the worst thing we've ever seen, but it is a kitten calamity. <laughs> <laughs> that was so terrible. <laughs> uh, what Were you holding back? <laughs> a, a kitten calamity, yeah, I was holding that one back. A, a, aside from the graphics, if it didn't have those graphics, yeah. and it was just like, like, you heard the natural audio of the camera, like, yeah, like constantly cutting, like a home video, and you, you hear Doug and um, whatever Glenn, Glenn and J John, have the cats move into the wicker baskets. You hear people talking in the background. Then it would have been worse, but at least there was music and graphics, so maybe not. Bags. So bizarre. We're only 15 minutes in and they've already run completely out of ideas. God, we're only half done. Well, let's move on to our next video, um, mysteriously titled Dunkin' Donuts 1994 Fall Donut Event Finishing Video with Bob Rosenberg. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Which just appeared one day. <laughs> the best and most fresh. Now you're convinced we're the one and This is all speculation because the experience of this video for me. Okay, this yeah. video comes on, it's like a musical montage and shows donuts. Yeah. And then this guy, this executive comes on the screen and he starts starts talking. And then His name's Bob Rosenberg. Bob Rosenberg. Give him some credit. Uh, Bob Rosenberg His comes name's on. In the fucking title. <laughs> How could you forget his name? Anyway, he looks like a Bob Rosenberg, too. Yeah, he, he does. does. But he, he starts talking, and we're all chatting amongst ourselves, waiting for this intro to end. And then and then Bob Rosenberg stops talking, and the video's over. Yeah. So we, we missed the video <laughs> when we were waiting for the video to start. No, yeah. this is just an <laughs> intro video. There had to have been something after this. This had to have been part of a series of videos, and this is just the first one that you start with. Well, I think it was something that played at a live event. Sure. Like some sort of gathering of Dunkin' Donuts uh, managers or something. And, and this franchisee was, owner. Yeah, right. this was the introduction to that. But before Bob Rosenberg comes on, we get a little music montage that's set to a rendition, a, a cover of Let's Give Them Something to Talk About. Let's give them something to dunk about. And ironically, we have nothing to talk about with the video. <laughs> well, uh, does, okay, fit, oh, okay. Do 1994 Fall Donut Event finishing video. 
So is this the oh. video that finished the oh, fall event? Oh, it wrapped it up. It oh. wrapped it up. Or does finishing mean like you put the finishing touches on your donut? Well, that's what the opening song was about. It was all about the frosting and the yeah. sprinkles yeah. and all that the crap. decorations. Here's the weird thing, right? Uh, this we, we ripped the original label off the, the VHS tape, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we found out underneath, because we wanted we had to put this on the wheel of the worst, so we found out underneath the original, original sticker was under there, and someone fucked it up <laughs> and replaced it with the new one. But it says, 1994 Fall Donut Event, finishing with Bob Rosenberg. <laughs> which, is, which is possibly an entirely different kind of video. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Bob Rosenberg saw that, and he just wasn't going to have it. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> We're going to have to slap a sticker over that. Yeah, the, he, they, someone messed it up and then replaced it, which I can, I can understand to some guy who's making the VHS tape, has no idea what the hell this means. Right. We don't know what this means. Yeah. Only people that own a Dunkin' Donuts probably understand what this video is sure. all about. I don't know about that. Possibly. The, uh, the second video, we, we, have, we had two Dunkin' Donuts yeah. videos, and the second video made much more sense to us. Yeah. Jay, why don't you go ahead and grab that video? Oh yeah, well the video was so short, it was over over before we knew before it was starting. We so we, we <laughs> luckily had a, a second Dunkin' Duncan Donuts video. Um, uh, this one actually says the duration, so, so we knew what we were getting into. And this one's called Uniformity. Anyone? Nothing. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> For a video called Uniformity, there's a lot of diversity in the uniforms. This <laughs> <laughs> is true. Time to make a donut. It's time to fill the shelf. Now's the time, yeah, now's the time. to fancy finish yourself. The, the, the strange thing about this video to me is, uh, this seems like it's intended for owners, for, for middle to higher level management. But it's done in kind of a stupid, entertaining way that you'd make for a, for a video you were trying to use to entertain, like, Lower new hirees. Yeah, this is, this is our policies, but our policies are fun. Like if you ever it's see done those, in, it's done in that kind of style. It's yeah. not like a dry video that you think an executive would. This is the new uniforms, and this is what you can give your employees. Yeah, yeah but right. they do a silly dance. Pull your hair back and ham your pants. Weather name bad <laughs> Oh my god. What is this? A Super Bowl show? <laughs> yeah, uh, that that I agree. They're a donut shop. <laughs> 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 Who cares? They gotta give these guys some reason not to kill themselves. Yeah. I mean, they work at a fucking Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give them something to talk about. You're oh. 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 And we're out. And that's done. And now, <laughs> Shoji. There's nowhere to go from there. I, I think you're just bitter at, at donut shops for making Krispy Kreme change his name. Aww. Krispy Kreme! 2012. This is true. It makes me very sad. That's understandable. I love him. It's not even wish fulfillment for the manager. Like, I can see him putting it in, watch it, and they show the manager at the beginning, and no one respects him. And he's like, when we get our new uniforms, everything's going to change. I'll be glad when those new uniforms get here. But then at the end of the video, he doesn't get the new uniforms in real life. So it's sort of depressing. <laughs> yes. You know what, though? I, I give it four stars out of 50. <laughs> I think we were hoping for a, some kind of corporate training video, but it yeah. turned out, yeah. or or a video of the finishing event. Yeah. Or like a, a, video, donut, a donut making <laughs> or a, or a donut a, making competition yeah. would have been great. Or a video of Bob Rosenberg finishing. <laughs> um, <laughs> that could have been happening. It was a shot here's, from like the here's our new frosting. Bob Rosenberg's <laughs> last his last video before being fired. <laughs> He's just drunk and fucking donuts. I got some glaze for you. Time to fuck the donuts. <laughs> well, the Dunkin' Donuts video did not live up to the mystery of what it was about. Uh, we all wanted to see Bob Rosenberg doing something exciting, um, some kind of event, but it turned out just to suck. <laughs> Yeah.
It was short. It was yeah, short, but was not short. sweet, no. ironically. Thank you. Now's the time, yeah, now's the time to face and finish yourself. <laughs> <laughs>Let's move on to our final tape of the evening, which is um, the most famous tape on the Wheel of the Worst, and another horrific letdown, <laughs> the Shoji Tabuchi Show. I can't even say it was a letdown. Well, once, once we heard that it was just some guy who does a country music show, it, it, it's basically exactly what I expected after I heard that. I think after a certain point, like maybe at the three and a half hour mark, you start, you, it starts to sink in what's happening. Yeah. And, and that you're only halfway through, and that you have another three and a half hours to go. Yeah. And you want to die. Well, well, you remember, do you remember when we thought we were almost done with the video? And then a screen came up that said intermission. <laughs> and we're all like, oh, fuck. Yeah, we're yeah. only halfway there. Oh. 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 Intermission. This is the half. That means. Part. Oh no. Well, let, well, let's set this up. It's a, it's a concert film. It's just a concert by Shoji Tabuchi and his wife and daughter. But then he comes out, yeah. and and we discover that Shoji Tabuchi is a, uh, he's embodies the American dream for one thing, yeah. and he is also a born entertainer. Unfortunately, he was born to entertain ninety-year-olds. Yeah. This, this was. A solid two hours long, mm -hmm. and once once we got the gist of it, we we stuck through it, and we'll show the back here, uh, and how many fucking songs were on it. It was two hours of music and, we and a diverse, uh, lots of different types of music. But they really build up the shoji, though. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, the, the wife comes oh, yeah. out, and they have like two different musical hacks. You're just sitting there. Where's shoji? Where is he? What's gonna happen when shoji yeah. comes out? Yeah. And the the laser violin starts <laughs> spinning around the stage. <laughs> And then his name starts coming up in giant letters. That's <laughs> really awesome. And then you see these legs walking down the stairs, and there's lights behind him. And then he walks to the microphone. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Folks, we will try to do every kind of music there is. I'm sure it's a bunch. <laughs> was he drunk? Or what? I, I, we, I, I think he was both drunk and English. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I think English? it was both drunk English. Well, that's getting cut. Get ready. We put together a whole mess of good old Hoda music. We were, we were trying to figure out the angle of the audience and, and what, what the big deal with Shoji was, because it was a fairly large theater, packed. Pretty much. Packed yeah. full of old yeah. people. Yeah. Some of, of them dead, maybe. <laughs> Lots of old white people. Yeah. Um, and, and to me, in my opinion, the music was very bland. Yes. Shoji goes through pretty much every genre of music, uh, uh, country western, blues, polkas, um, gospel. gospel, yeah. Uh, I wish 50s, you would have done some 50s rock. 50s, and, and uh, his shtick is that he plays the violin, which is also a fiddle. We discovered, <laughs> yes, he tells us. we learned through the video that they're the exact same thing, <laughs> and that he has a white fiddle that was made by NASA. Yeah, that's a, that's a weird thing, where he gets very uh, quiet and tells everyone to be quiet. Don't take pictures of my NASA fiddle. Absolutely no photo, please. No camera, please. Only this segment of the show. Yes. Uh -uh. It's very bizarre. And then it glows in the dark. And we couldn't tell if he was joking or not. Well, here's, here's the thing, there's the problem. That's Shoji's problem in general. You can't tell when he's joking. Yeah. He doesn't have a lot a little of- A he, He's a fine fiddle slash violin player. He's very good at that. Uh, he's not very charismatic. He comes across awkward on stage. Yeah. There's one part where he starts stuttering uncontrollably. <laughs> but it's only one part. Right. It's very weird. We didn't know if he was doing a bit or if he legitimately has a stuttering that problem. That didn't sound like a bit. Yeah. But then again, I can't tell when this guy's joking. Yeah. But it's like, it's like the, the, the NASA violin thing or fiddle. This one was specially designed for me by NASA. He sounded dead serious. We thought he really didn't want the audience taking pictures. Well, he didn't because it would have ruined the effects. And yeah, but, but we thought it was like, like is, he, is it supposed <laughs> to be some kind of top secret fiddle? <gasps> uh -huh. 
I just want to go home. And is Shoji Tabuchi like a really well-known fiddler? Is he is he really like respected in that, or is it is it sort of like the the novelty of it? Is this Japanese man uh, is playing all these different genres of music with the fiddle? Yeah. What what does the audience get out of it? Because to me, it's very bland. Mm -hmm. It's it's not. I mean, I, I'm not an expert in how well someone plays a fiddle or a violin. It sounded great to me. But the whole show is just very, very bland. Yeah, there's a lot of production value, but it's all very just sort of like, yeah, there's nothing super, there's no edge to it. There's no, everybody's 90 years old in the crowd. Well, look at, looking at a crowd, looking at, looking at his crowd, yeah. since they're all 90 years old, I doubt they're not there because it's a novelty, him being a Japanese fiddle player. I, I really think they're just looking for some nice, bland entertainment mm. that they're familiar with. I completely agree with that. <laughs> yeah. We, we, were, we were joking of, uh, uh, during the, the video about people there being so old that they were dying during the show. <laughs> and then at the end of the show, they would have a in memory of the people who died <laughs> during the show. Uh, and the coroners <laughs> removing their bodies at there's, the end. There's a special crew every night that cleans up the, the corpses. The, the, the people, the people that stay in their seats, like, you know, three hours later, pick them up. <laughs> <sighs> oh. I gotta say, it's it's not for me. I don't think it's intended for any of us. No, definitely uh, not. Both, both age and style of music. But I, I like Shoji. You gotta, you gotta respect Shoji. He explains, uh, you were out of the room and you were out of the room when he explains that he was, uh, he was like seven years old in Japan and this uh, country group came from America, they were touring in Japan, and he saw them, and it, that's what led him into wanting to perform country music. Mm -hmm. And so he moved to America, and now he has this whole little enterprise, the Shoji Enterprise. Yeah. He's performing for large theaters of people in Branson, Missouri. He He's... has his own dancers, he has his own uh, backing band. Yeah, he, he is the embodiment of the American dream. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I find the whole thing suspicious. <laughs> I said Shoji was the Tommy Wiseau of music, mainly because he's, 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 he's I guess you could say he's charismatic in a well, he's, fun way. He's, he's, he's awkward, he's awkward. dweeby. Yeah. Is that a good word to describe he's, him? He's, he's kind yeah. of a dweeb? Yeah. He's almost charismatic by virtue of being so strange. Okay. <laughs> by okay. being so uncharismatic. But he's not like really bizarre like a Tommy Wiseau, who is just so and weird. And un unlike Tommy okay. Wiseau, he's talented. Yeah. Okay, bad, bad example. Um, but there's a million musicians out there that are all very good. Yeah. Why is he leading a big show as as this this amazing front man mm -hmm. who everyone has to go to see? Do people love him? Is he charming as 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 much as it appears that he is? I didn't think he was. I thought he was a very good musician, but. The head of a like the ringleader of this big grand show. Yeah, I didn't quite see it unless there, uh, you know, he just has a whole bunch of money and was just like like a Tommy Wiseau, mm. who's like, here's a whole bunch of money. I'm making my own movie, and Shoji Tabuchi is like, I have a whole bunch of money. I'm gonna be a band leader and yeah. run this whole show, because it, it, it's it's weird when someone becomes famous and successful. And you kind of go, how? Yeah. Well, that would explain why his daughter is such a big part of the show, because she's not very talented. She's not a good singer, but she's featured prominently. But he also pointed out that his wife is the one that puts together all of the shows. So okay. he also has his wife hired on, okay. and so it's like a family ordeal. Yeah. Um, so the wife probably puts the daughter on. She's like, you're mm -hmm. going to be another shoji. Would you do service for Jesus, your king? That's power in the blood. It's not loud, it's not obnoxious, it's not of offensive in any way. It's very mild and anyone can enjoy it if you like any of these genres of music. Well, he takes each genre of music and makes it bland. That's what that's, old people like. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. It's like Perkins food. It's the old country buffet mm -hmm. of music, right? Yes, yeah, yes. I love the 50s. Are you enjoying the dancing? <laughs> Miles, Miles 
of applause. Yeah. Can I say that you're you're lumping all older people into a stereotype? Well, that obviously accept not anything all that's bland. old people. But Jay yeah. Leno. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. He covers a wide range of different styles of music. Okay. You know, you can kind of pluck out what you like and then nap for the other hour and a half. <laughs> Here's another question I pose to the panel. Mm. Is Shoji yeah. Tabuchi and his, his, sh his uh, uh, show, is it only successful because it's the headlining event in Branson, Missouri? If Shoji took his act mm. around the country, to Los Angeles and New York, or would he get booed out of theaters? Does it matter? I, I don't know if he would get booed out of theaters. I don't, I don't know if would there sell. would be enough of an interest for him to come. Yeah. Because we, when we first started, this started showing up on the wheel, like we had never heard of him. Um, but then we started getting messages from people saying like, I live near Branson and everybody knows him here. So yeah. he's very popular right, in that right. area. He's local. Yeah. yeah. Like a local show. Yeah. Maybe his tickets are super cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they get free tickets with admission Maybe. to the water park. There you go. You know, the best part is that you can go to shoji.com and you can still buy this VHS tape. Still. Really? That's great. <laughs> you know That's why? Because he has 10,000 of them. He's got a warehouse full of them. Yeah. It's just his whole garage. He just wants his Dorothy, his wife, is just bitching because she can't park in the garage anymore. His, his home is made of VHS tapes. When is our daughter going to be a superstar? She's just throwing whiskey bottles at him. I told you she'd be in the show. She'd be successful. She's 35 now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. He introduces his uh, the band members, and one of them is from Milwaukee, and we're pretty sure it's Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Next gentleman is from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yay! Yay! The audience is just like silent. Yeah, <laughs> that's not the sound. <laughs> Jesus, my show. Well, it looks like Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> it's yeah. it is Jeffrey Dahmer! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's very possible. Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer had a very short lived career as part of the Shoji Tabuchi band. As a squeeze box player. Yeah. It didn't work out, and well, we all know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> From Milwaukee. Well, uh, I think that's all we can say about the Shoji Tabuchi show. Um, two hours of fine, bland entertainment for elderly white people. <laughs> uh, now we have three videos. We'll, we'll discard this since it wasn't part of our original uh, three videos that we picked. Uh, and now is the time of the night when we pick the best of the worst. Uh, I'll start. Okay. I think the best of the worst was none of these videos. <laughs> Thank you. Jesse? You gotta pick one. Pick one. I have to pick one. Come I, on. I, this should I, be Shoji obvious. Tabuchi. Okay. Shoji Tabuchi is definitely the best of the worst. Most entertaining, musically entertaining video. The the rest are the crappy ones. I completely agree with what you just said. Um, while it was the longest video that we watched, it it had a variety of of things. So even if he didn't like one thing, you know, maybe he would do something creepy or weird or say something <laughs> dumb and we could all <laughs> laugh at it and that was funny. Um this was just a this was just bore fest. Um the same with this except there's, you know, if you like kittens, there's cuteness in that, I suppose, even though they look terrified. It's a redeeming yeah. quality, I suppose. Um yeah, that's about it. I don't know. <laughs> this was a non video. I despise this. <laughs> Shoji wins by default. All right. Wow. Okay. Jay, best of the worst. Uh, I'm going with the Dunkin' Donuts video what? because it was seven minutes long, <laughs> and and because Bob Rosenberg is just uh, just so full of charisma. You think the Dunkin' Donuts video is better than Shoji's big? show that he put on for everybody. Yes, because it was seven minutes long. Bob Rosenberg knew when to get in and get out. He understands timing. Oh. It's, it's, it goes right along with the finishing video. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think we all know what needs to get the ax here. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's unanimous without it's even- It's very unanimous. We don't even have to that. say, no. yeah. I know exactly what we need to destroy tonight. Make a donut, it's time to fill the shelf. Now's the time, yeah, now's the time to fancy finish yourself. Time to make the donut.